I've got a new video for you guys because today we're talking about my experience working at Chick-fil-A. And like I said in the title, it was a traumatic experience. That is not clickbait at all. There were such terrible things that happened to me and just happened during the time working there. And today I'm going to expose them all. I've been needing to get this off my chest for years now. So let's get into it. <music> Okay, so I don't really do story times on my channel. It just really hasn't been my thing. I've been wanting to do some because I always write down these memories I have and they're so insane. And one of those memories is working at Chick-fil-A. I was only 16. I was I just turned 16 at the time when I started working there. It was my first job ever and the things I went through were terrible. There have been so many instances where like not only like people's rights were violated but crimes were committed. And and today I want to touch on three things that happened when I worked at Chick-fil-A. There are uh, so many more. I have a full list, but I've worked at Best Buy, I've worked at other places. I've gone through so many things and I don't usually share about my life, but today I want to share what happened when I worked at this specific Chick-fil-A. And I guess I'm not really coming for the whole brand or whatever because it's like a franchise. So like this one man ran this place and it was a living hell. And today I want to tell you guys exactly why, because... When I tell these stories to others, and I've told them throughout the years, people are like, what? Like Chick-fil-A? I thought that was like the Holy Grail Christian restaurant. And I guess sometimes it is, they try to be, but then sometimes the employees take over and it becomes a mess. So let's start when I was first hired, but actually here's a picture of me literally throwback with my friend Abby when we worked at Chick-fil-A. It was such the struggle, but let me tell you why. So it all started when I first got interviewed there, which the interview was pretty relaxed. I was actually being interviewed by this woman named Amy. She was the manager, and this isn't actually her name, but you will need to remember Amy because the second story about her is actually insane. But anyways, I had a great conversation with Amy. We pretty much got along, which was um, like new for me because I was 15, so shy, and like speaking to an adult gave me such anxiety. So I nailed it with Amy, and when I started the following week, she had something very interesting she had to say to me about my interview. So it turns out some kid that I went to high school with was interviewed before I was interviewed the same day. And she actually asked me if I knew who he was. And I was like, you know what? I do because we're in the same grade. We actually have some mutual friends. And she told me the reason why that he wasn't hired and I was, was because she found out that he is gay and that they don't hire people like that at Chick-fil-A. Again, this is just one friend franchise and it doesn't speak for all of them but me as a 16 year old kid who hasn't come out yet and especially like in the workplace I can't even imagine coming out there I just had extreme anxiety over this and I felt like if I came out I was going to be fired by Amy or the big boss or whoever because I heard Chick-fil-A was like super Christian and honestly that didn't really like phase me because I grew up like with the Bible like stuff and going to Bible study camps and all of that stuff so when I went there, I didn't think it would be a problem, but like when she told me that, I was like, wow, so that's why they didn't hire that kid from my school. And I feel like ever since then, it just all went downhill. But let's talk about the really, really disturbing story because this one, I feel like you guys will not believe. So you guys know Amy. I mentioned her. She's the one who did not like the gays and was not going to hire that kid. Well, she had a little brother who worked at the restaurant. His name is Caleb. And he was actually like, well, I think he was only like three or four. No, actually like five years older than me. I don't know. I think, yeah, he was like, he was definitely over 18. I can tell you that. Maybe he was like 20 or so. Anyways, he worked at the front and he was just like a normal, like, I, maybe he was like a shift lead or something. And, you know, his sister was the manager. And actually, Amy had a lot of family working there. Her husband worked in the back and his name is Aaron. And I have a really, really sad and disturbing story about them. So um, I usually don't talk about like on my channel, but if you are triggered by that, then please click out now. I'm giving you that opportunity. So I'm going to try my best to protect their identity. I obviously don't want to open an old wound with this because like this is from my past and it's pretty crazy what they went through. 
But pretty much, so you guys know Amy, she's the manager. Well, her husband, Aaron, was doing really bad things to her at home. They have three young kids, and he was physically, like, harming his wife. And now it's, you know, okay, I can't even get into detail because of YouTube, like, rules. But, like, he was harming her, and it wasn't cool. And obviously, her little brother was not a fan of that. This happened one day in October back in 2011, and pretty much Caleb told his older sister, Amy, while he was visiting at her home, to go and check the AC unit outside. And during this time, he started getting in an argument with her husband, Aaron. Keep in mind the three young kids who were at the home at this time. Neither of these people were working, and unfortunately, Aaron never came to work ever again because Caleb, during that argument, he grabbed a knife and he, he like caused wounds to the neck and to the thorax, according to this, um, this article, and that's how he passed away. And, uh, supposedly the children saw that. It was horrendous. Um, the crime scene was terrible. The wounds were beyond and I'm not trying to make this about myself but I remember like going into work the next day and everything was really frantic I remember seeing like my manager who I really didn't like because I actually really liked Amy like even though she didn't like the gays I actually really did enjoy her compared to my other manager she was there like freaking out and she really didn't tell me what was going on but then rumors started to fly and then the news came up and I was shook because even Caleb like I just looked he was 19 at the time and he was really cool like we went on this trip together which is my next story and I actually really enjoyed his personality so I feel like when he did this to that man to, to Aaron I feel like he did it because he wanted to protect his sister from getting harmed anymore it was years of her being harmed by this man and her brother her little brother was fed up with it but it was obviously the worst way that you could handle it and it really just like sh it just shocked our entire like store and I remember the first day seeing Amy come back and it was just like never the same and I don't think she came back after that like I was working when she came to like pick up some stuff and then she left it turns out Caleb was sentenced to 20 years in prison with seven years and three months suspended he also was ordered to pay five thousand dollars or whatever okay wow that is like oh god even revisiting it it's so triggering to me because I just remember being a young kid working at Chick-fil-A and being exposed to so many horrendous things it wasn't only crimes it was use and it was so many other things involving people who weren't great people and it went from the top of the store to the bottom of the store because I have stories about every single one of them but for this video I'm just gonna tell you one more because I'm kind of exhausted after that last one but anyways I went on a trip with Chick-fil-A one time because our store owner was going to take us to this amusement park called King's Dominion which I still really love it's an amusement park near where I grew up and since Chick-fil-A is closed on a Sunday he was able to take all of us to go there and if you've ever seen like a Chick-fil-A store you'll see they'll have trucks and stuff outside and um like they can use that for trips and such and we used some of those for a trip but we also used other like employee cars to just like break up the group and get everyone down to the music park because it was about an hour and a half away and I was grouped with this guy named Manny and this guy had a lot of issues like he was constantly using at the store and he would go and disappear in the bathroom for like 40 minutes and he did the type where you would inject into your arm like I don't want to assume which one he did because I don't really remember but I saw him do that injecting it into his arm with my own eyes on our way to the amusement park like we went to the amusement park and I was placed in this one van right and it was him and his girlfriend they actually both worked at Chick-fil-A at the same time and they were sitting in the front seats and that was it there were no other seats everyone else was piling in the back and at this point I actually just started working there I think it was like my first like month maybe I didn't even think I was going to go on the trip because I was like oh I'm brand new like I haven't even like worked my worth to go you know whatever but I went and they put me in this car and it was so traumatic for me because I not only like I'm not big on traveling and neither is my family so I never really was on the highways much but like let alone on the highway in a car stuffed with people where we're all 
while sitting on the ground of a van. And at the same time, they were smoking things like out of big glass devices. They were, the one guy was shooting up and like, it was so, the driving was so terrible. And I just remember like the car is going to crash and I'm just not going to make it out of this. Like there's no way I'm going to come out alive in this car with these people. Like I was towards the back where like the trunk was and I was constantly waiting for just like the back truck the trunk of the van to just open up and for me to fly out oh god that, like then we got the kings of Man. it was totally fine actually one of my friends she was like my best friend there and she just moved to america i believe in brazil and she was doing like designing there and we went into the water park area and she had a bathing suit on and it was like a bathing suit i don't know if i can say that word on youtube but like it was really just weird because no one there wore that type of thing but i guess in like brazil or whatever they all did that was such an interesting trip but like the ride alone was so traumatizing because i've never seen like anyone do any like type of substance like that um and like just seeing like his physical reaction like he was a pretty large guy and it would like i just remember feeling like oh my gosh like is he okay is he okay and i just was like almost laughed at by people whenever I would question or get scared they're like oh then you're just like a little gay or whatever and like maybe I was just very innocent for my age but it was all so much to be exposed to and that was just really the little bit of it like there's so much still just like awful things that happened not only at Chick-fil-A but just throughout my work years and seeing people like use and just being exposed to things that like I never even wanted to be exposed to and it definitely changed me as a person honestly I think it scared me away from doing certain things because watching the result of like I mean like them just using and using like these people didn't really like I just remember them like getting in trouble going away they they went on vacation like that one guy went on vacation at one point he was actually locked up so it was extremely toxic and it definitely changed me as a person um maybe it did feel better because it told me what i shouldn't do but it also just left me scarred so chick-fil-a was a horrible experience and if you guys want me to talk more about my like experience there or just story times in general please let me know and especially about chick-fil-a because like the training there was so bad and it was extremely inappropriate how the boss was on to my mother and <laughs> there was just so much so if you guys want more story times and you enjoyed this please let me know in the comments below but i will see you guys in a new video soon bye guys